Hey, it's Jessica Damasa with WTF Health. I'm here at Health Data Palooza, and joining me right now, I have Todd Park. He is the co-founder and executive chairman for Devoted Health. Todd, it's good to have you with us. Thanks for having me over. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So excited always. I'm incredibly excited to be here. It's the 10th <laughs> annual Data Palooza. It is. What's not to love? What's not to That's love? Fantastic. Oh my God. Okay, so I should ask you, and I will ask you yeah. about like 10 years of changes. You know, but before I do that, I do want to jump in on the, on the devoted side of things. Sure. And I want to ask you about payment model innovation. Sure. Because this is sexy and you're in the Medicare Advantage space trying to innovate a way. So weigh in for me on what's going on. Give me a state of play and payment model innovation. Um, right. How are things going? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, taking kind of a broad lens, not just devoted, right? I think, um, you know, the, 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 the country really is making progress toward value-based payment, right? Which then truly enables uh, innovative optimal models of care. Uh, and this is happening, you know, I think across the board, yeah. right? And, uh, you know, it's happening more slowly, I'm sure, right, than uh, uh, many of us would like, right? But it's happening, right? Yeah. And, and it's at the point where I think it's beginning to achieve escape velocity. Like, it's actually just not going to be a tide that gets turned back, right? Um, and That's good to hear. Yeah, right. yeah. And it's going to, you know, it's going to continue to, you know, just take time, so on and so forth, right? You know, and, and a lot of heroic work by a lot of people across a lot of different axes of the healthcare system, right? Uh, the payment side, delivery side, tech, data. Uh, but I think value-based payment um, and the care delivery innovation that enables is here to stay, right? Um, and it's important to like not take them for granted, right, and stay focused on, right? But I think as as long as everyone stays focused on that North Star, uh, you know, I think I think we'll we'll, we'll get there, right? Um, and and like one of uh, as you know, one of the themes of our data palooza over the last ten years has been, um, you know, keys to healthcare getting better, right? Mm -hmm. uh, include not just making the data liberated, right? Uh, but changing the incentives in the healthcare system uh, to truly tap into the power of that data, right? Uh, to improve health and care. Um, and the move to value-based payment is, is key to that. Absolutely, and I think, I mean, I love that you brought in kind of like, into, in the data palooza aspect of this and the liberation of data, because I mean, really that's kind of set this whole thing in motion in a different way. And one could argue, I mean, not only did it set in motion and kind of enable you know us to be where we're at with value-based care, but also to be where we're at with the consumerization of healthcare and also to be where we're at in, in a lot of yeah. ways with the tech companies moving in and, and kind of making um, things a lot more accessible. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. give me like, I, I don't know, give me a, a sense from your perspective, yeah. you know, where we've come from and, and yeah. you know, I know we're moving slowly, but you know, do you think the tide has turned on a lot of these things? I think it. I think it has begun to, for sure. Okay. Right. Um, and uh, I, I think on all the fronts you mentioned. Right. So we, we just talked about value-based payment. Right. But I think is really beginning to achieve escape velocity. Uh, a long way to go, but really kind of you know you can really feel us beginning as a country um, to get to a place where that momentum cannot be stopped. Right. Um, I think you know consumerization. Right. Um, also, you know, definitely. Uh, in motion, right, as a force. Um, I think a data liberation, <laughs> Def <laughs> definitely in motion as a force. And all these things, I think, are, it's like a triple helix, yeah. right, you know, that, that aid and abet each other. Um, and I think we're, um, you know, maybe at the end of the beginning is maybe a good way to put it, the right? end of the beginning. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, I mean, so there, there are multiple phases still to go, right? But you mm -hmm. can really feel as I think, beginning to get to a, a, a critical mass of, of forward movement on these fronts. I mean, we're seeing a lot of like, I mean, especially on like the insurance side, the payment yeah. model side of things, we're seeing like a lot of like um, consolidation in that space. I mean, we're seeing like health yeah. plans buy other health plans. We're seeing like, yeah. I mean, new business entities form, like the whole Haven um, yeah. entity. I mean, yeah. things are really starting to change in a big way. Do you think, I mean, you said, you think that we're at the end of the beginning. So, I mean, what's starting then? Yeah. I mean, I mean, as we head to the middle, I guess, like, I mean, what do you think is starting? Like, where is this, yeah. this is maybe marking up an, an end point, like you're saying, yeah. you know, what's next here? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I, I think that um, uh, you know the 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 you know beautiful and exciting thing is that you know we don't really yet know how it's all going to pan out, right? I, I think we know what the underlying drivers are, right? That um, uh, basically, as long as, as long as sisters and brothers keep working yeah. on these, these 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 causes and these imperatives, right? Um, that. Uh, payment for care will shift ever more toward value, not volume, mm -hmm. right? Um, consumers and patients will, um, uh, as is their right, right? Um, uh, demand more and more and more accountability mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, from the system, right? Um, for delivering value, right? To them, right? Um, and data will become more and more available, right? 
Um, and that's really at multiple levels, right? Uh, 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 data about how different players in the market are performing, like how providers and yeah. payers are performing, so transparency. Mm -hmm. yeah. But also data like my right as a patient to get my own data, yes. right? Um, and my provider's right to get all the data about me if I want, right, to that provider to care for me, right? And so again, like this is, this is a this is a slog, right? It, it's it's not yeah. not like a snap your fingers type 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 overnight change, but you can really feel that happening, right? And so, so at the confluence of those forces, right? I think uh, there's just going to be there, there there is already like an extraordinary amount of tumult, right, <laughs> um, and disruption, right, right. Um, from which I think great things will happen, right? And and I think you know, um, you know there are new companies forming, companies developing new approaches um, that uh, aim to feed and kind of ride the wave of the disruption, right? Um, I think the consolidation, interestingly, right, is also a sign that there's disruption because yeah. basically incumbents are kind of joining forces <laughs> that try to gird themselves, right, <laughs> um, for the disruption. And I think, I think you know, disruption is, uh, is, is a good thing here, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's a very much overused buzzword, right? But, yeah, but, but the notion of the stats were getting shaken up, yeah. right, um, uh, is really, really good here, right? And, and, and one really interesting, um, data point, right, it's mm -hmm. quality data point, is that, uh, and I'm sure this is true of other people you talk to, right, um, the conversations that people in the system are open to having and the ideas they're willing to entertain, right, those conversations would have been unthinkable a decade ago, yeah. right, maybe yeah. even five years ago, right, yeah. but what they're willing to entertain doing, <laughs> right, because um, I think it is incredible and I think that's a sign that everyone says, okay, the status quo is really going to shift here, yeah. right? Um, and so, uh, and so, you know, the, the 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 players in the system need to need need to shift accordingly. To that point, you've ha you have such a unique viewpoint on the evolution of this space from like Data Palooza one ten years ago to now. And I'm thinking like you know what you just said, like the people in the industry are willing to have these conversations. And you've also just we're talking about the, the causes. And I'm curious to know, you know, the, the, the data liberation cause has evolved a lot over the last 10 yeah, years. Yeah. So look ahead for me, Todd, in, yeah. it, like n in the nearer term, right? Yeah. Five years from now, yeah. how do you think, like, what should we as the industry be focusing on as the cause? Even if it's the data liberation cause, like our, you know, the, the rhetoric underneath that has changed. It's not yeah. more, like, even now it's like, give me access to my data. Well, that's kind of happening. And so it's gonna continue to happen. So what yeah. do you think we should be passionate about and pushing for yeah. through the next couple of years yeah. to set us up for future success. Um, I think I think uh, uh, it's a fantastic question. I, I, I think the, the 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 three things are, and it kind of you know, depends on yeah, no, uh, no. you know wh wh what leverage one has. But I think all of us can help with all three of these things, mm -hmm. right? So one is um, you know I think we are part of the way there to. Um, in e-patient Dave's immortal phrase, like, you know, giving patients their own damn data, right? Yes. You know, um, we're not all the way there, right? It is still too much of a pain in the butt mm -hmm. in too many cases for a patient to get their own data. So I think just, just like finishing, finishing phase there. one mm -hmm. of the execution of that, right? So that it is actually possible for a patient to get the vast majority, right, of their own damn data, right? Without it being like an, an unbelievably, like, crazy amount of effort, right? Um, so then get to a place where that's like really happening, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, like table stakes. Yeah, yeah, right? Um, and uh, and where and the patient can not only get their own damn data, right, but there's an API to their own damn data, right, that all the tools that I want as a patient um, to leverage can actually easily access my own damn data, right? So right. Just, just get, just don't take out the, like don't declare victory, like, you know, early, <laughs> right? But just like <laughs> finish out like phase one, right? Oh, yeah. You know, and then similarly like, finish out like phase one of if I want similarly my doctor to have access to my data, mm -hmm. all of it, right, um, that that actually happens, right? And I think it's just going to require continued sustained pressure by patients and, and by uh, really everyone, right, you know, to actually um, get that to happen, yeah. right? Um, and then uh, I think the third thing is just continue to make forward progress on uh, value-based payment. Right, because like as we've heard, um, uh, you know, this morning, for example, right, and it's kind of a recurring theme, right? Um, until the healthcare delivery system, right, is actually paid based on value, right? Um, you know, the ability for the care delivery system to actually truly innovate is going to be sharply limited, right? right? Um, and so, just to again, kind of shift the 
you know, I'd love in the next five years for us to shift the kind of the epicenter, like the, 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 the critical mass of how healthcare is paid for to pay to keep people healthy, pay for the prevention of terrible things, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, that then, you know, will, uh, in a virtuous loop, right? I mean, that uh, unlocks um, the, you know, more and more business cases to harness the power of the data to help do that, right? Yeah. Um, and the presence of a business case to do that then puts more pressure on the system, right, to unlock more data, right, and then just feeds on itself. So I think, I think we're at the we're, we're at the beginning of this, uh, you know, double or triple helix, as it were, right? Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, basically, mood value based payment, uh, data liberation in the hands of providers, and then data liberation to patients, right? Triple helix, let's call it, right? <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, but you know, we can't take off the ball right? and, and can't yeah. get distracted, right? And, uh, you know, because, you know, it, it, on the one hand, it is beginning to achieve escape velocity. On the other hand, it's, it's actually, you know, nothing's inevitable, yeah. right? Um, and so, you know, I, 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 I know these two things may, may sound kind of, you know, contradictory, but, but they're not, right? I mean, so, I mean, you know, one of the things we study history, right, is that things that look inevitable in retrospect weren't, right? Yeah. If you look at kind of the atomic level of what happened, it's basically small bands of sisters and brothers got together to do something collectively that was crazy. <laughs> and like totally against the status quo, right? And then they just hammered at it, hammered at it, hammered at it, right? Hit the right jujitsu points, and then the system started to flip. Yeah. Um, and then the system flipped. And then retrospect, it looks inevitable, right? But it was anything but, right? And so I think through the collective action of these bands of sisters and brothers, like, we're beginning to flip the system, right? But the system could easily flip back, yeah, right? Yeah. Because it's got so much like weight, and so we're in precarious times here. So uh, uh, precarious and exciting times, yeah, right? And so I think sure. if we, if if, uh, if all of us, you know, and, and one incredible band, sisters and brothers, is the data plutes community, right? Yeah. If we just stay focused, right, and keep our eye on that north star of better health and better care for the American people, right, through the power of the triple helix, right, and just keep championing that, right, um, then, then 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 we will we will get there. We will get there. Yeah. All right. Triple helix. Triple escape. Helix. Escape velocity. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I think you said like jujitsu points. And so <laughs> yeah. Part, let's just sum it up with that, right? <laughs> let's just, should we just leave that there, Todd? That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds great. All right, Todd. Thank you so much for weighing Thanks, in. Up, as oh my God! It's a pleasure to talk to you. The triple helix, right there. I love. Can you do the hand motion one more time for me? Triple helix. <laughs> I'm triple helix. I'm I have one more. Wait. <laughs> Get in there. Todd, thanks so much. I'm Jessica so Damasa with WTF Health. Thanks for joining us on Health Data Palooza. Thanks. See y'all later. <laughs>